Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I hope you are having a great day and that I and I hope that you're enjoying the vlog so far. And welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Callie Kleinschmidt. I'm a manifestation and mindset coach and I also have an online course called Manifestation and Mindset Simplified. And I'm just so happy to have you here. So thank you for being here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And for everyone watching, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Ah, so it's been a great morning so far. It is just now 1.18 in the afternoon. Frankie just left for work, and I didn't film this, but just before he left, we started watching a movie called, on Netflix, um, The School for Good and Evil, I think, and it's super cute. We've only watched like 15, 20 minutes before he had to leave, but we just wanted to have some quality time together before he left for the day. So, I am on my own today. I have the whole rest of the day by myself, which is great. So, some things I would like to do are to continue vlogging. I would go, like to go sit out by the pool and read, although it looks very windy out, so that might not happen. And I want to play with Fox because he needs some attention. And I would like to record a podcast and video for next week, maybe. We'll see if I'm feeling up to that. Sometimes I write out a plan, sometimes I don't. And then I have a coaching session on Tuesday afternoon of this next week, so I want to make my outline for that. And then I... Yeah, really, I don't really have any plans for the day, and I'm just kind of rolling with it. And this is something that's new for me, and it honestly feels a little uncomfy because I'm the type of person that likes to control, the type of person that likes to know what I'm doing, I'm the type of person that likes to have a timeline and everything, and that's something that I'm really retraining myself on is letting go of timelines, just trusting in the process, you know, surrendering to the experience and just allowing things to be and show up as they need to. So this is the perfect day to really put that into test because sometimes when I don't have a plan for the day, like today, I woke up on this Saturday morning and didn't have any plan other than I knew I wanted to vlog. And sometimes that can be a trigger for me, it can really give me a lot of stress and anxiety. And it comes from a place of feeling like I just have to maximize my time, like every single minute I have to make it count because I still work eight to five at a you know, in a corporate setting. So with that, I really feel like sometimes I just feel like I have to make the most of every single minute outside of work, but that can cause me to, you know, trying to control that time and it not be healthy. But today I woke up and I was feeling super excited for this day. I woke up with a really, you know, full heart, full of joy. But yesterday I was full transparency. I was having a really hard mental health day. I was struggling with a lot of anxiety yesterday and I don't know what caused it. I am PMSy. I'm getting my period soon and I tend to you know have anxious thoughts or physical anxiety too in my chest as I get closer to having my period but it happens. It's something that I'm aware of and it's something that I would like to continue to work on. I think my hormone levels might be out of balance so that's something that I'm going to look to you know tweak but now I feel like my skin is a little bad right now just because like I said, I am PMSing. But I would like to leave it clean today, or not clean, uh, bare-faced today if possible. But if I record a video, another video, I might put on makeup, but we'll see how that goes for the rest of the day. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and just listening to me ramble, I guess. But you know what? I'm kind of feeling a matcha. So. Let's go and make a matcha. Also, I wanted to share with you these fun, yummy treats I got. I am a chocolate chocoholic, and it's something I really need to work on because I probably have too much chocolate. But they are these Simply Chocolate Date Bars. They're very good. They're so yummy, and I really like them. I got them at Neighborhood Goods in Plano, Texas, but I'm sure you could find them online. So let's make a matcha. I'm going to use the stevia. I use the stevia clear. 
Um, some people don't really like stevia. Some people feel like it makes them bloat or they have, yeah, I just, I guess, bloat. And for me, I don't seem to have that issue, at least. I don't feel like I do. I feel like maybe when I first started having matcha, it did make me bloat, but I don't know. Now I don't feel like it does. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys up right there. Let me get my cup. And today, we are going to make iced matcha. There we go, friends. So, tell me in the comments below, what are three things that you, that you are grateful for? Because that's something I like to talk about with Frankie every day, is just three things that you're grateful for from the past like 24 hours. So the first thing that I'm grateful for is, last night when I was going to bed, I was having a really hard time falling asleep and I was feeling really anxious. I could just feel it in my chest. Like mentally, I wasn't feeling anxious, but like my heart was racing and my chest like felt really tight. So, goodness. So, cuddling with Fox was very much appreciated and needed and he was really comforting to me. I'm really grateful that I got a good workout in this morning. So I did 30 minutes on the treadmill and then I did roughly like 30 minutes of Pilates. I do not work out for an hour every day of the week. Absolutely not. I usually work out for 20 to 30 minutes, like three to four times a week during the week and it just honestly working out makes me feel really good. It really helps with my mental state so I really wanted to prioritize getting some good movement in and I feel it. Like my legs are a little sore because I love doing the Bailey Brown workouts on YouTube. She has so many great videos on YouTube, all free. She does have an app called Align and yeah, I'm obsessed with her workouts. And the third thing I'm grateful for is I made a smoothie for Frankie for lunch and I'm super grateful that he let me make him a smoothie because usually he isn't into, you know, eating the same way I am. So anytime that I can do an act of service for him to help him with his health or, you know, just, and it just makes me feel good. So I'm really grateful that I got to make him a smoothie and that he actually enjoyed it. And I made pumpkin bread last night and that's really fun. I love pumpkin bread. Uh, so yeah, tell me what are three things that you guys are grateful for in the comments below from the past 24 hours. I would love to hear. And my voice kind of sounds raspy. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Maybe I haven't had enough water today. But I'm using, so let's make this matcha. I'm going to use this matcha bloom uh, to-go travel stick. I got them when we were on the retreat, or I was at the retreat in Miami. So I'm just pouring this in there. And this is half a teaspoon of matcha. I will share, I got... I got this matcha at Natural Grocers and I do not like it. It tastes very chalky and it's because it's not ceremonial grade, that's my bad. So I'll probably just use this up and not repurchase it or maybe I'll try to bake something with it and try to use up a lot of it, but it's still good. It's just not to the quality that I want it to. So I have my matcha in this cup. I'm gonna put a dash of water and that might actually even have been too much. I usually would have tried to do less, but Whisk this up with my little handheld frother. I got this for Christmas last year from my parents off of Amazon. I think it was like $14. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'll do this for like, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Really try to mix it in. I love matcha. Okay. Yeah, that's probably good. The past few days it's been a little chilly here in Texas and by that I mean like in the 60s and 70s. So I was drinking it warm and actually, and maybe this is just me, but I feel like I don't really taste the matcha when it's warm. I feel like I taste it more when it's cold. Could just be my own thing, but whatever. A little bit of almond milk. I don't like to do too much, because if I have, I don't know. I don't like a lot of almond milk, because then it just feels like I'm drinking straight up almond milk, which I don't want. And I really like the milk brand. I do get the vanilla one, which is good. And then I do like, I don't know, sometimes I do like five little drops of stevia, sometimes I do like eight, it depends, I don't know, just eyeball it. Okay, that one I did seven, I think. And then I'm going to top it off with some more water. I've seen some people put cinnamon in their matcha too, which would be good, or pumpkin spice, I guess. Froth this up a little bit more. I always fill it too full to do this, so I'm just doing little pulses. Oh shoot, I need room for ice. I'll take a sip and then I'll put some ice in there. Okay. Need a spoon or a glass spoon? That's good. Yep, okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna clean up and then I'll meet you guys back in a second. Bring him. So I'm just gonna play with Fox quick because he needs some attention. Don't you, baby boy? Come, on, come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Oh my goodness, the little love of my life. Say hello. He loves to play this with this ratty old ball. It's his favorite thing in the whole entire world. But I wanted to ask too, what do you guys want to see from me? What content would you like for me to film for you or podcast to create? Because I'd love to hear from you. And I've been wanting to get into TikTok more, doing more. So I do a lot of like talking videos, like educational videos, but I think it'd be super great to do some trend videos too, just to like, I don't know, have fun with them because they're always so fun and silly. And, I don't know. Just cool. So I would really like to start doing TikTok more. So if you don't already, make sure to go follow me over on TikTok too. It's the same username, Whole by Callie. Because I've just, I don't know, I've been feeling really inspired by TikTok lately. And I usually just post the same reels that I post on Instagram to TikTok, which is, you know, normal. But sometimes I just want to be a little bit more creative. And now that my online course is officially launched, which you can find all the details for that down below, I feel so like refreshed, rejuvenated, and inspired, and I feel like I, I have more time now to focus on other content, which is super exciting because I poured my whole entire heart, heart and soul into manifestation and mindset simplified. Like truthfully, it took me six months to create you guys. Like. When I say I put my whole heart and soul into it, I mean it. So yeah, I'm excited to just have a little bit more time and like be creative and do things that I normally wouldn't have done like these past six months. Okay, ready, go. And yeah, I'm just excited. Also, this is so interesting, but our walls in this apartment are so thin and I mean that. So like our neighbor next door has a loud dog and he constantly plays music so loud. Like last night, even at like two in the morning, the walls were vibrating because he was playing music. And then the person down below us, they freaking bang on their ceiling, so like our floor, all the time because they think we're being too loud and that's their way of telling us. Like if I'm vacuuming or if I'm playing with Fox it, or like, it, I don't even know. Literally, they're, it's so incredibly rude and I know that's coming from my ego, but they probably do it like at least three times a week and it's like, we, we're not loud, like we're not being loud. And like the other neighbor, I can hear her Alexa when she goes off, but it is what it is, it's apartment living, but it's just like, wow. It's really thin walls, apparently. And we've been here for like, what, three months now? June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, like three-ish months. But, yeah. And if you don't already know, Frankie and I are planning to move back to Minnesota in July. So now it's just like, we're at the point where it's like, okay, well, we only have a few more months left to go. Let's just hold on, hold off, and whatever. But, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna play with Fox, and then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, I actually decided That's so dark but the fan is so loud. I decided I am going to do my makeup because I do want to film some TikToks So you're gonna do my makeup with me. Yay! Who doesn't love a good makeup tutorial? Okay, so And I have an exciting package getting delivered this afternoon So once that gets here, we'll do a little unboxing together But what I start off with is the Kota Kosas. What is this? Revealer concealer in the shade 5.5. So I'm gonna dab this on. And no, I'm not a beauty guru. So I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but we're having some fun. We like makeup over here. Okay. Wow, I need to get you guys up higher. Maybe. I don't know if that's going to be any better. So I seem a little crooked. I got a new tripod. I'm still figuring out how it works, though. Okay. So I'm just going to dab this in. I'm going to look in the mirror. And this will be fun for me because then it times me and sees how, or it will tell me how long I take to do my makeup, I guess. And something else, I curled my, or washed and blow dried and curled my hair last night with the Dyson Airwrap. I curled it, 
And something I learned from one of my friends from the Roots Retreat is that you are supposed to, when you curl your hair with the Dyson, and probably everyone else who has a Dyson knows this, and I just didn't, you're supposed to do it when your hair is 80% wet, and I was doing it like when it was practically dry, or excuse me, 80% dry. And I was doing it practically when my hair was dry, and it was just like never holding a curl, and I asked her how to like do it properly, and she said do it when it's 80% dry, and I was like, okay. So I tried it for the first time last week, and my, y'all, my curls lasted a full week without me having to do any touch-ups. So that was insane. And I washed my hair last night, and I did it again, so we'll see how long these curls hold up, too. But, okay. Here is my concealer. I don't use foundation. I just use concealer. And usually I don't go that rough. I feel like I was going really rough on my skin. Very hygienic. I just clean off my brush with a towel and I wash my brush like once a week. And I just have this one. It's from Eco Tools. It's I don't even know if I use the right brush or anything, but and then I'll do some eyebrow. Again, this is from Kosas. This is like their eyebrow gel. I don't know what it's called, but I have this soft brown color. So yeah, I'm just feeling inspired to do some fun TikToks. We'll see what I come up with. Who knows? I just I want to be creative. I want to have fun. I have the whole day to myself. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Look in. Okay, I'm gonna do a little eyeliner. This is the Ilia Ilia Clean Line Gel Liner, and then I have it in Dusk. I like it. And I just do two small lines on my eyelid, and this is probably like a big beauty no-no, but sometimes if my eyebrow right here can be a little sparse, and I'll just use it a little bit to fill in the hair. I know that's probably not what you're supposed to do, but I do it. Okay, some lip gloss. This is the Tower 28 in Coconut. Love this lip gloss, and the package that I have getting delivered later tonight may or may not have something to do with Tower 28. You'll just have to wait and see. Love a good lip gloss. When I, here, I'll show you this too. When I want something more full coverage, not full coverage, I guess more vibrant, I love this Kosas one. This is their Kosas Undone. I think it's their lip gloss, I think. Okay, and then we're gonna put some little glitter on just a touch I put some on my cheeks I just started doing this because I need to use this up and I have a gold one too it's by PYT and it's just like glam glitter gel so I'm gonna just rub this in it's a little highlighter I should have done this before the uh, eyeliner but, oh well live and learn I don't put this on every day either and then I need to put my mascara. Okay, I use, this is just a sample size of the RMS Beauty Straight Up Mascara. It's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie, but I have the sample and I'm gonna use it up. And it's honestly the only mascara I have right now. I wanna try the, I forget what it's called, but it's the one from T Tower 28. I've heard good things about that one. Anybody else make weird faces when they put on mascara? And then this RMS Lips to Cheek in the shade Modest. Honestly, I love it. I've been using it, not the same pot, but the same product for like the past four years. And I do like it, but I kind of want to try something out different just because like I'm so over the finger thing, like putting my finger in there. I just feel like it's not hygienic. And the product lasts so long, which is a good thing, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel like it, you know, has lived its life, but I feel guilty throwing it out because it's so expensive. I shouldn't say that. It's not expensive. It's luxurious. Gotta work on my money mindset. That's something I'm constantly working on, y'all. Constantly. Okay. The redness will go down a little bit because it's just because I was touching my face, but... 
that's the final look and it took me seven minutes and 45 seconds it will usually take me longer i feel like whenever i'm vlogging i feel like i'm always under the clock okay gotta clean up the mascara a little bit oh i wasn't even looking at you but yeah here is the final look looks pretty good and i swear to god that effing fan gives me so much rage sometimes especially if i'm feeling anxious it will be an anxiety trigger trigger for me for sure like i hate the sound of it i really am sensitive to sound and i constantly have to turn down the volume to things ask frankie to turn something off etc so regardless i don't need to rant about that i'm gonna put on some jewelry and then we're gonna film some tiktoks okay friends so i just made like 13 tiktoks and i posted four of them and I have nine in my drafts. I'm just having so much fun. Oh my God, I never have time. I shouldn't manifest that. In the past, I just haven't had the extra space in my day to have fun and do fun, silly TikToks. And wow, that felt so good. I probably just did that for like the last hour. I don't know. But I'm just, I'm having so much fun with it. And I really like how the makeup turned out, friends. Like it's everything I could have ever wanted and I love these earrings too they are from Saks Fifth Avenue but they were like $50 and then my jewelry is Miranda Fry I got the bracelet at um the Roots Retreat and I love it so much and then I'm wearing my most favorite little workout dress it's from Aerie yeah my workout dress is from Airy. But now that I have that done, I'm going to work on my course outline, or excuse me, my client session outline for Tuesday because I have a client call on Tuesday, which is super exciting. And then I'm gonna work a little bit on my online course. I have some back behind the end things to do, so I'm gonna do that right now. But I'm just having so much fun today. And look at this little snuggle bug. Can you even, he's so cute. And then I might record a podcast later today but we'll see so i'm gonna do some hobo callus stuff and i'll catch up with y'all in a little bit My God, you guys, you literally almost broke. <gasps> and I caught you. Go me. Oh my God. But I am having some pumpkin bread now. And then I decided I am going to do a podcast and other YouTube videos. I'm going to record that after I'm done with this pumpkin bread. But oh my God, I can't believe I almost dropped you guys. All right, Fox. That was scary. <laughs> the TikTok, like, I was scared. I was really, really scared. But yeah, so I'm just gonna enjoy this. I was just playing on my phone, doing some Hobo Cali stuff and making TikTok videos. The girls are getting wild and playful now, but my exciting package should be delivered. Wow, I can't hold you guys straight apparently. It's getting delivered between four and 7 p.m. and it is 4.14, so it should be delivered anytime. But I'm gonna have this pumpkin bread and then I'm gonna record a podcast. Actually, I might take Fox on a quick walk around the building first take you guys along if I do that but just having a fun day I'm having a fun day by myself with no plans and just enjoying it but tomorrow we're going to the Dallas Cowboys game I'm excited about that I'm not a cowboy I'm not a football fan really I have no idea what goes on in football I could not tell you a single thing about football I legitimately know nothing but I'm just going for a good time yeah Frankie and I are going with our friend Lauren it's gonna be awesome Alrighty, friends, Foxy and I just got back from our little walk and play date at the dog park. Right, Foxy, sir? And now I am going to film and record a podcast slash YouTube video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to talk about um, always having the power to make an impact. And you can find that next week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'll be back in just a little bit. And then after this, I think we'll probably start to make dinner, which I think I'm going to make you guys, oops, the package I've been waiting for just got here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's 
open it right now. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for like a few days for this since I ordered it. Okay. So it's from Tower 28. And I ordered. Oh, did I take that Okay, so first off, free samples. Who doesn't love free samples? I got their Beach Please Tinted Lip and Cheek Balm in all of their four shades, samples. And I'm so excited about this. This is their Make Wave Mascara. I've heard so many good things about this. And look at that applicator. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's pretty cool looking. Google it online, I guess. And this is what I'm most excited about. I ordered their lip pencils in the shades. Let me let me get them out first. In the shades. Fill me in and work of art. This one's fill me in. And this one's work of art. So this one's a little pinky and lighter. And this one's a little bit darker. And then I ordered a lip balm. Tower 20, or excuse me, this is cashew so let's go and try these literally right now because i'm so excited and i've actually never done lip liner before so this might be interesting okay i do have a little bit of lip gloss on my lips right now so i need to take that off and i did change into comfy clothes okay okay which one should we do let's do i'm intrigued by the work of art one so let's see how this goes oh god I need to figure out how to use this thing better. Can you see me? I really don't know if I'm doing this right, you guys. It's definitely really dark. I do not think I'm doing this right. I might have to YouTube a few videos. Okay. Which is shade cashew. I don't know you guys. I feel like it maybe washes me out. Hmm. I don't know how I feel. Let's try the other one. I feel like maybe... God damn. You guys, I gotta figure this out. I guess. Maybe I didn't get the right tripod. Well, maybe it's growing on me. Hmm. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I think it is growing on me. I think I just need more blush. Okay, let's try the other one. Okay, so now we're gonna try fill me in. I'm gonna do it in the mirror quick over here. Okay, so it's just with the lip liner. Now I feel like this one's too light. I feel like you can't see it that much. I'll try again with the cashew. Maybe it's just the lighting in here? I don't know. I feel like I'm more of like a pinky girl and this is so nude. Like, okay, let me share. Like, this is the cashew. And the other one I showed earlier today was the coconut. And I feel like the coconut is more my speed. Oh, Lily's saying hi. 
see it's much pinker. See, I don't know. I feel like that just brings more color to my face. Don't you agree? Hmm. We'll think on it and we'll return them maybe if needed. So we'll see. I'm gonna go make dinner now. Okay, crew. I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm at the point of the night where I just want to get cozy, cuddle up, and not have to think about anything. I did try the lip, the lip liner again just now, but with a different lip gloss on top. You'll have to let me know what you think. I still don't know how I feel about it. But my dinner was really good. Then I had some chocolate ice cream, coconut milk ice cream to be specific, and now Foxy and I are just playing. We're playing fetch and watching a movie on Netflix, which is something that I usually don't do. But now I'm actually going to shower and then I'll go back to playing with Fox and watching a movie. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new, subscribe. And I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you for being here. You always make me so, so grateful. All right, friends. I love you and I'll be back next week. Love you. Bye.